loves welcome back to diva Doll flawless just wanted to jump in with some um beauty items that i recently was either gifted or hauled okay love so the first thing i have is this right here and this is the becca shimmering skin perfectors this was actually one of my um christmas gifts for my sister this is limited edition but when I got this, there were other highlighters from Becca that I did not have. So I went and got this one. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector. And this is the pressed gold. And I'm going to apologize in advance because the first couple of items actually are limited edition. Okay, so this is the Champagne Gold Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is the pressed powder. And this one is limited edition. Um, but I did purchase mine after Christmas. So, therefore, some of your Sephora's or Altas may have it. I did purchase mine from Sephora. The next two products are also from Becca. And this is the Shimmering Skin Perfector and Opal. This is the liquid one. I wanted the pressed powder, but the Sephora I went to did not have it. And then this one is the Shimmering Skin Perfector. That's the pressed one in rose gold. All right, love, so this is what the liquid one, if you're not familiar with Becca's products, this is what the um, liquid shimmering skin perfector looks like. And it's pretty much the same thing as these ones. These are the shimmering skin perfectors. These are the spotlights. And these ones have a doe foot applicator. This one, however, has a pump on it. And what you can do is just mix this in. Um, you can use it as a moisturizer. On your face prior to your makeup application foundation bbcc cream whatever you decide to put on your face um and it's just going to give a really pretty luminous effect so i will be using this in some upcoming tutorials and um they didn't have the pressed powder as i stated in my local sephora but if you wanted to you could actually highlight the face with this as well so a moisturizer um mix it in with your actual foundation or just use it to highlight the face on top of your liquid foundation i do want to still go back and get the opal powder because if i were to highlight with this it's a cream product so i would still want to set it and i noticed that when i use a cream product and then set it with its equivalent um press powder on top of it it really just makes that highlight really really shine so that's what I wanted this for here is the rose gold press powder it does have a mirror at the top but the reflection is really um shining through this camera and I don't want that to hurt anyone's eyes so just in case you're wondering it does have a mirror on this compact and this is absolutely gorgeous i love this highlight i have used it already and it gives a really pretty natural um luminous effect on the skin next up were a couple of items that i saw in my local walgreens and these are from milani and i absolutely love their rose blushes so i picked up two this one is in coral cove and that's what Coral Cove looks like. And then this one here was one that I did not have. And this is T-Rose. This is the newer uh, eyeliner from Milani. And I was really excited to try it because it does say that this is made for the waterline. And if you know anything about eyeliners, when you put them in your waterline, they do not always stay. My sister tried it out and she loved it. So she actually... Um, purchase one for me and I'll probably be going back to get another one the first one we have is um and I guess I should have done them this is 65 matte glam and this is a gorgeous blue base purple that will be this swatch right here um to me it looks a little bit different on the lips and I was really excited about this because that was a color that I was making with a pencil last year and I couldn't find a lipstick to really match it and um, the only lipsticks I did have were from CoverGirl and they were creamy. So this is matte. So here's the swatch for that one. And again, that one is 65 Matte Glam. Next up is 67 Matte Confident. And this is a blue based red. And I love blue based reds. I feel like they go with 
um, pretty much everyone's skin tones, the more orange based reds, I don't feel like are easier is are as easy to pull off on every complexion. So that's what this one looks like. And again, all of these are all matte and I absolutely love them. I have tried these all on and wore them and the wearability on these are amazing. Next up is number 62 and this is matte blissful and that will be this one right here so another pretty pink it's like a more natural pink for me it probably would be a more natural pink and it does have a little bit of a blue base to it as well all of these are really really pigmented and I love them um, the next one is 61 matte naked and that will be this one right here if you can really see it up against my skin tone So here's a closer look of um, the lipsticks and I again I've worn all of these and love them. Okay love so now I have the Paint the Town 260. This is one of the Maybelline Color Show nail polishes. I love the Maybelline Color Show nail polishes. And then this one is from NYC and I don't know what the name of this one is but it's a really pretty oh duh it's right on the front lord help me it's called pink champagne number 156 and it just has some gold reflex inside of it and this one will probably be like a more natural type of pink but I just thought it was really pretty and I think it was only like 97 cents at my local Target both of these were per purchased at Target all of the other Milani products were purchased from Walgreens. In case you're wondering, on my nails I'm wearing China Glaze. This one is called Sweet Hook. And this number is, what number is this? Number 1040. And I purchased this from Sally's and I just, I love it. It's so pretty. And um, that's pretty much it. All right, love, so that's everything from this beauty haul. I just wanted to say a huge um, happy New Year's to everyone. It is going to be, I feel, a great New Year. So, Happy New Year to everyone. I know I'm probably really late with that, but it's because my laptop was destroyed <laughs> by my daughter and um, I'm just now getting it back. So, I'm now able to film and upload, but I think I might have to now get a different laptop because it's um, acting up so yeah i'm just having a lot of <laughs> electronic issues my iphone screen is completely shattered so <laughs> i'm just not having the best of luck with electronics lately but i just wanted to let you guys know i missed you so much i can't wait to jump back into filming and um i hope this is a great and blessed and prosperous new year for all of us and as always and until next time thank you so much for watching happy new year dolls have a gorgeous day. Smooches. Mwah. Bye.